Hello everybody, how are you all? I think you all are well. Today I will teach you about circle. So we have to know the definition of circle. A circle is a closed curve such that all points on its circumference are equidistant from a fixed point. So what is called circle? A circle is a closed curve such that all points on its circumference are equidistant from a fixed point. So here is you can see O with a fixed point and this is the circumference, this is the circumference. Here A, B, C is a circle whose center is O, center is O. Now we have to know the definition of circumference. Here is circumference, the fixed point is called the center and the bounding line is called the circumference. And actually the perimeter of a circle is called its circumference. So we have learned what is the definition of circle and what is called circumference. So now we will have to know the definition of radius, definition of chord, definition of major arc, minor arc and tangent. Already we have learned the definition of circle and definition of circumference of a circle. Now we will have to know the definition of radius and definition of diameter of a circle. So let us come back what is called diameter. A line segment which passes through the center of the circle and whose end points lie on the circle is called a diameter and it is denoted by D, diameter denoted by D. So here is AB is the line segment which passes through the center, O be the center and A and B at the end point lie on the circle and here is uh, O be the center. So now we will have to know the definition of radius of a circle. The radius of a circle is a straight line drawn from the center to the circumference, drawn from the circumference all ready of a circle are equal that means all radius of a circle are equal. Here is you can see OA equal to OB equal to OC if we join O and C this is also radius. So here is you can see diameter denoted by D and radius denoted by R and diameter d equal to 2 into r. Now we will have to know the, the definition of arc and definition of chord of a circle. Already we have learned the definition of circumference, radius and diameter. So now we will have to know the definition of chord and definition of an arc. So let us come back what is called arc of of a circle. Arc of a circle. An arc of a circle is any part of a circumference or any part of a circle is called an arc, is called an arc. So now you can see here is a arc A C B, A C B up to this, this is an arc. So now we have to know the definition of chord. So a chord of a circle is a straight line joining any two points of, of on the circumference. So we have learned the definition of arc of a circle and chord. Now you can see here is uh, AB is a straight line which is passes through the center of a circle. So diameter is the greatest chord of a circle and, uh, the, and chord here is PQ that means you can see a chord of a circle is a straight line joining any two points on the circumference joining any two points if we join P and Q that means PQ only PQ is the chord and diameter is the greatest chord. Now we will have to know the, the definition of circum center already we have learned the definition of circle then radius circumference. Now we will have to know the definition of circumcenter. So what is called circumcenter? Do you know what is called the intersection? Intersection means 
this is when straight lined and another straight lined uh, this intersection you can see this is the intersection. So, circumcenter that means two perpendicular intersect each other two perpendiculars of a triangle intersect each other and another perpendicular passes through is point of intersection that means you can say according to the definition circumcenter of a triangle the circumcenter of a triangle is the point of intersection of two perpendicular bisectors of that triangle the perpendicular bisector of the third side of the triangle uh, would pass through the circumcenter too that means you can say uh, here is uh, a d and b e are perpendicular which is bisect each other at the point o and third perpendicular c f passes through o for this we can say o is the circumcenter so another definition we can we can say the the circumcenter of a triangle is defined defined as the point where perpendicular bisectors of the th of the sides of that particular triangle intersects particular triangles are intersects now we have to know the definition of orthocenter already we have learned circumcenter now we will have to know the definition of orthocenter and centroid so what is the orthocenter so orthocenter that means you have to know what is the definition of orthocenter the orthocenter of a triangle is the point of intersection of the perpendiculars point of intersection of the perpendiculars drawn from the vertex to their respective sides so here is you can see in any triangle if you can draw the perpendicular then the perpendiculars will be intersect at a point intersect at a point you can see here is a d perpendicular b c and here is b e perpendicular a c and c f perpendicular a b the perpendiculars intersect each other at the point at the point o so o is the ortho center o is the ortho center now we will have to know the definition of centroid so according to the definition of centroid in every triangle here is a b c is a triangle here is a d is the median and b also median and c f also median so what is the difference between ortho center and centroid so, in or, according to the definition of ortho center you have to draw the perpendiculars but according to the definition of centroid you have to draw median so according to the definition of median any median of a triangle divides the triangle into two equal in areas so here is three medians intersect each other at the point o so this is the centroid so we have learned orthocenter and centroid and circumcenter now we will have to know the definition of tangent of a circle and normal of a of a circle and point of contact of a circle already we have learned the definition of orthocenter circumcenter and centroid now we have to know the, the we have to know the definition of tangent and normal this is very very important for you so we have to know the tangent and point of contact and normal also so what is called tangent so tangent a line which touches a circle a line which touches a circle at one point only one point only is called a tangent to the circle at the point the point at which the tangent touches the circle is called a point called the point of contact so what is called tangent already we have learned any point touch in the line touches um, one point only you can see uh, here is pt is a line 
touches at p touches at p so pt is the tangent and at which point the line line touches which point that means p is the touching point this is the point of contact so we have learned the definition of tangent so now we have to know the definition of normal so what is called normal so according to the definition any line drawn perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact of the circle is called the normal that means you can say any point any line drawn perpendicular any line drawn perpendicular to the tangent perpendicular to the tangent any line drawn drawn perpendicular to the tangent so you can say here is a tangent is pt is the tangent and you can see here is pn here is pn is the perpendicular drawn at p drawn at p so here is pn is the normal according to the definition pn is the normal so you can see the definition again any line drawn perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact of the circle is called the normal of the circle at the point so already we have learned the definition of tangent and definition of point of contact and definition of normal already so, we have learned the various types of definition about circle so no more today thank you thank you all